Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to replace a boring sky in Photoshop using the color range selection tool, the quick selection tool, some selection refinements, and layer masks. You can download the project files for this tutorial, including both the before and after Photoshop files. That way you can see exactly how everything was put together and have some photos to work from if you don't have any of your own. Let's get started. So here we have our source image, and as you can see, the sky is pretty boring. It's just mainly white. So the first thing that we want to do is drag our clouds image into our document, and we'll place it up at the top here, and we'll hide that for now until we need it later. Now we need to make a selection in the sky, and usually people will go straight to the magic wand tool just because it's the only thing that they know, and it's been around forever but usually the magic wand tool will give you the worst possible results so we're gonna stay away from that the best way to select the sky in this situation is to use the color range selection tool so make sure you have your background layer selected and choose select color range to open the color range dialog and what I'm gonna do is use the add method for my eyedropper tool and anywhere that I click on this image is gonna to add to my selection so what I'm going to do is just click around in my sky a bunch of times and you can see every time that I click it adds to my selection in this window down here. So I'm just going to click around until I get the whole sky selected and I can also click directly on this image in here if I see areas that are hard to get I can just add them down here. Now that I have my selection made I'm going to change the fuzziness to refine it a little bit further. You can see if I turn it up that it also includes parts of the image that are not the sky, which is not what we want. So now I'm going to drag the fuzziness slider down until we have just the sky selected and not so much of the rest of the image. And then I'm just going to hit OK. So you can see now our selection includes the sky, but it also includes other areas that we don't want selected. So the easiest way to get rid of those is to use the quick selection tool, which you can find by clicking and holding on the magic wand tool if that's what you have currently set up and I'm gonna go over to my image and increase the brush size by clicking the right bracket key and holding alt I'm going to click and drag on any areas that I don't want included in my selection so there's a lot of little areas down here that you might not be able to see so I'm just gonna hold alt and click and drag all over my image to get those out of there now I can zoom into my selection where the sky meets the buildings and you can see that there's certain areas that are not selected properly. So I'm going to shrink my brush down and again holding alt I'm going to remove those areas from the selection and you'll notice as I draw that the selection looks pretty ugly but once I release the mouse button it kind of smooths them out. So our selections looking pretty good as is so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my image and choose refine edge and I'm going to smooth my selection by maybe one or two and I'm also going to shift the edge inward a bit so it overlaps with some of the items in the foreground that way it'll blend better with the final sky that we put in so that looks pretty good now I'm just going to hit OK next I'm going to select my clouds layer and I'm going to click the new layer mask icon down here and I'm going to unhide it and you'll see immediately that our sky gets put into the image based on this layer mask information from the selection that we made earlier. Usually the sky is whiter at the horizon plus our original sky here is mainly white so I'm going to fade this in just so it looks more realistic. So I'm going to duplicate my clouds layer just so I have a copy of my original selection to work from if I need it later on and I'm going to hide one of these layers now I'm going to hold control and click on the layer mask to select the selection that we created earlier and with my layer mask selected I'm going to choose the gradient tool and using a white to black gradient I'm going to fade this sky in from the bottom to the top and you can keep painting until you get a gradient that you like and once you have one that you like just hit control or command D to deselect your image Lastly, you can create something like a curves adjustment layer to apply to the entire image. That way it makes it look more realistic and it blends just a little bit better. Now you can see the before and after. So here's the before with our boring white sky. And if I turn these layers back on, you can see the after with the sky that we just put in and it makes the image look a lot more interesting. 
Now, the more complex your original sky is, the longer this will take, and the more time you spend on your selection, the more believable your new sky will look. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.